Late night talk shows have long been a source of amusement and laughter for millions of viewers. Over the years, we've seen countless hosts and guests bring their unique humor and charm to these popular programs. But let's be real, not every moment has been laugh out loud funny. In fact, some late night show guests have left audiences feeling downright uncomfortable. From awkward interviews to bizarre antics, these cringeworthy moments will make you want to cover your eyes. Join us as we take a closer look at some of the most painfully unforgettable appearances on late night talk shows. In May of 1992, Johnny Carson hosted his final show after three decades on the air. Two of his guests that night were Betta Midler and Robin Williams. The atmosphere was emotional, and both guests played a significant role in the show's farewell segment. Betty Midler, a seasoned actress and singer, sang several songs that night, paying a touching tribute to Johnny Carson. Her performance was so moving that it went on to win an Emmy Award. It was a captivating end to an era, with Midler's powerful voice filling the studio and resonating with audiences at home. Midler's career has been marked by her ability to captivate audiences with her singing and acting. She has released numerous albums and starred in many films and Broadway productions. Her performances have always been a testament to her talent and versatility. That night on Johnny Carson's show, Midler proved once again why she is considered one of the greats in the entertainment industry. Her tribute to Carson was a fitting end to his long-running show, and her talent and charisma were on full display. It was a moment that fans of both Carson and Midler will always cherish. As the show came to a close, it was clear that Bette Midler had left an indelible mark on the evening. Her performances were a fitting tribute to a beloved host, and her talent and charm were on full display. It was an emotional night, and Midler's contributions were a significant part of what made it so special. In 1962, the iconic actress Judy Garland graced The Tonight Show, sitting down for a delightful and candid interview with Jack Parr. During their conversation, Garland reminisced about her childhood and the early years of her remarkable career. She shared stories of her time working alongside other legendary actors and actresses, such as Liz Taylor and Mickey Rooney, during her formative years in the industry. It's no wonder she became such a success with mentors like these. One notable anecdote Garland shared was her experience honing her acting talent with these industry greats. Before her big break as Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, she had the privilege of learning from and working with some of the most accomplished thespians of her time. Garland's account of her journey in show business is both fascinating and inspiring, offering a glimpse into the world of classic Hollywood and the talented artists who shaped it. Her stories of collaboration and growth serve as a testament to the power of mentorship and the enduring impact of the golden age of cinema. Raquel Welch, one of the most beautiful actresses of our time, graced television screens and movie theaters for several decades. Her career took off after landing a role in One Million Years B.C., where she famously wore nothing but a deerskin bikini. This appearance turned her into a global sensation overnight. Her beauty was undeniable, and even talk show hosts like Dick Cavett couldn't resist its allure. When Welch appeared on his show, wearing a stunning blue dress, paired with a perfect smile and a sun-kissed glow, Cavett seemed to ease up a bit from his usually uptight persona. Interviewing someone as captivating as Welch must have been an effortless task for him. Welch proved that attractive women possess power over men. She had a certain charm that could disarm anyone, making interviews like the one with Cavett go smoothly. Even though she faced numerous challenges throughout her career, including being objectified due to her looks, she managed to rise above them and establish herself as a talented actress. Despite starting her career in an era when roles for women were limited, Welch paved her way through Hollywood with determination and grace. Over the years, she starred in various TV shows and films, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Indeed, Raquel Welch remains etched in our memories as an iconic figure whose influence transcends generations. With her radiant beauty and remarkable talent, she left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, one that will never fade away. Her story serves as proof that physical attractiveness can be used as a tool for empowerment rather than just an object of desire. Whitney Houston, a name synonymous with an incredibly beautiful voice, was one of the most successful singers of all time. She had a remarkable career, selling over 200 million albums worldwide. Her talent and contributions to the music industry have solidified her place as one of the greatest singers in history. In 1990, Whitney graced The Tonight Show with Jay Leno as a guest and received a special congratulations from Jay. The reason for this celebration was Whitney's record-breaking achievement. 
She had surpassed the Beatles for the most number one hits by a singer. This accomplishment was a testament to her immense talent and widespread popularity. During the show, Whitney captivated the audience with a stunning performance of her hit song, I'm Your Baby Tonight. Her powerful voice and enchanting stage presence left everyone in awe, making it a truly unforgettable moment. Tragically, Whitney's life was cut short when she passed away on February 11, 2012, at the young age of 48. The cause of her death was a drug-related accidental drowning. Her untimely departure was a great loss to the music world, and she is deeply missed by fans and industry peers alike. Whitney Houston's legacy continues to resonate with music lovers everywhere. Her extraordinary voice and unforgettable hits have left an indelible mark on the tapestry of music history, inspiring countless artists who have followed in her footsteps. Joan Crawford, a name synonymous with Hollywood's golden age, was one of the most popular actresses in the 1960s with a massive fan base. Shortly after the release of the psychological thriller Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, Crawford received a standing ovation from her adoring fans. As a guest on The Merv Griffin Show, Crawford's popularity was undeniable. However, her relationship with her co-star Bette Davis was less than amicable. When the tell-all book Mommy Dearest was published, people got a glimpse into the real Joan Crawford. Behind the scenes, Crawford's castmates didn't share the same admiration for her as her fans did. Johnny Carson, the third host of The Tonight Show, interviewed many of Hollywood's biggest names during his 30-year tenure, and Joan Crawford was his very first guest. During the interview, Crawford appeared resentful towards Davis, who had been nominated for several awards for her performance in Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Crawford tried her best to hide her pettiness, but it was evident in the interview. Despite her strained relationships with her co-stars, Crawford's fans remained loyal to her. Her performance in Whatever Happened to Baby Jane remains a classic, and Crawford's legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors to this day. Dolly Parton, the award-winning country singer, was a frequent guest on The Johnny Carson Show. However, their interactions were not always smooth. Johnny Carson was known for his blunt comments, which often made his guests uncomfortable. Dolly Parton, being a classy individual, never addressed this issue publicly. Despite Johnny's tendency to focus more on Dolly's appearance than her talent, she continued to appear on the show. It is said that his comments bothered her, but she never let it show. Her grace and professionalism were always on display, even in the face of uncomfortable situations, Dolly Parton's talent and contributions to the world of country music are undeniable. Her songs and performances have captivated audiences for decades. Yet, during her appearances on The Johnny Carson Show, the focus often shifted away from her talent and towards her appearance. Despite this, Dolly Parton remained a class act, always conducting herself with grace and professionalism. Her talent and contributions to the world of country music continue to be celebrated and appreciated by fans around the world. Doris Day, a beloved singer and actress, captured the hearts of many during her time. She was a fan favorite, known for her successful acting career and her fantastic singing voice. Two of her most memorable songs include Sentimental Journey and My Dreams Are Getting Better All the Time. These tunes, among many others, showcased her incredible talent and helped establish her as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. In 1974, Doris made a memorable appearance on The Tonight Show, where she discussed the long list of men she had starred alongside. Two of the many leading men she named were James Garner and Clark Gable. During the interview, she shared stories and reminisced about her time working with these talented actors. Doris was also known for her role as an animal activist. On this particular day, she took over the interview and shared her passion for helping animals. Johnny, the show's host, allowed her to continue as it was Taurus Day after all. Her dedication to animal welfare was just one of the many ways Doris Day left a lasting impact on those around her. Her legacy continues to resonate with fans, both old and new, who appreciate her contributions to the world of entertainment and her unwavering commitment to making a difference. Madonna, also known as the Queen of Pop, caused quite a stir when she appeared on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson on June 9, 1987. Her interview stood out from those of other guests, leaving many viewers surprised by her unconventional behavior during the show. Instead of sticking to the typical promotional chit-chat, Madonna chose to engage in playful banter with Johnny Carson throughout the episode. Her unexpected actions led some spectators to question whether her provocative demeanor was part of a deliberate attempt to generate publicity. In fact, just days after the peculiar interview, Madonna embarked on a global tour to support her latest studio album, Who's That Girl? 
This timing has fueled speculation among critics regarding potential connections between these two events. Despite all the controversy surrounding her TV appearance, one thing remains certain, Madonna continues to captivate audiences around the world with both her music and her bold personality. Even today, conversations about the pop icon often revolve around her memorable interviews and groundbreaking artistic endeavors. Farrah Fawcett, the beautiful actress who captured the hearts of many, is most remembered for her role as Jill Monroe in the popular TV show Charlie's Angels. In the 1970s, women everywhere spent hours in front of the mirror trying to replicate the Farrah Fawcett hairstyle, an iconic look that defined an era. Beyond her acting career, Fawcett made headlines when she appeared on The Tonight Show shortly after announcing her decision to leave Charlie's Angels. During the interview, host Johnny Carson mentioned the show's increased ratings, to which Fawcett responded with a controversial statement. She claimed that the cast's decision not to wear bras was the reason behind the surge in viewership, a bold statement that raised eyebrows in those days. Despite the controversy, Fawcett's statement was true. The show's ratings did increase after the cast members stopped wearing bras, a decision that was made to create a more natural and comfortable look for the actresses. This move was a departure from the norm in those days, and it helped to further cement Fawcett's status as a trailblazer and a trendsetter. In addition to her work on Charlie's Angels, Fawcett appeared in numerous TV shows and movies throughout her career. She was a talented actress who was admired for her beauty, grace, and charisma. Her contributions to the world of entertainment will always be remembered, and her legacy will continue to inspire future generations of actors and actresses. In 1961, Steve Allen, the original host of The Tonight Show, welcomed back a special guest, none other than the king of rock himself, Elvis Presley. After completing his military service, Elvis made an appearance on the show, proving that his time away hadn't harmed his career, but rather elevated it. One of the highlights of the evening included Elvis's performance of his hit song Hound Dog. This iconic performance demonstrated to audiences everywhere that Elvis remained as captivating as ever. With his signature style and undeniable charisma, Elvis continued to solidify his place in music history. His guest spot on The Tonight Show served as a testament to his enduring impact, reminding fans why they cherished him so much in the first place. Anne Margaret's career as an actress was not without its challenges. One of the most significant obstacles she faced was being typecast in certain roles due to her early movies. This labeling as a B-movie actress frustrated Anne Margaret, as she had the talent and range to take on more serious and challenging parts. During an appearance on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, Anne Margaret saw an opportunity to set the record straight. She used the interview as a chance to express her disdain for being typecast and to remind both Johnny and the audience of her impressive list of accolades. With five Golden Globe nominations and several Academy Award and Emmy Award nominations to her name, Anne Margaret had certainly earned her place as a serious actress. One of the roles that Anne Margaret was particularly proud of was her performance in the film Carnal Knowledge alongside Jack Nicholson. She discussed this role during the interview, highlighting the depth and complexity of her character and the challenges she faced in bringing her to life. The interview felt more like a commercial for Anne Margaret, but the audience didn't seem to mind. They were captivated by her passion and dedication to her craft, and the interview served as a powerful reminder of her many talents and contributions to the world of acting. Despite the challenges she faced, Anne Margaret remained committed to breaking free from the constraints of typecasting and proving herself as a serious and versatile actress. Her performance in Carnal Knowledge was just one example of her ability to take on complex and challenging roles, and she continued to push boundaries and defy expectations throughout her career. In November 1979, Donna Summer, the undisputed queen of disco, made an appearance on The Tonight Show. As a young girl, Donna had always been a fan of Johnny and his show, and she was thrilled to be a guest. During the show, Donna opened up about her talents and accomplishments beyond her successful music career. She shared with Johnny and the audience that she was mechanically inclined and had the ability to fix a car. This revelation took many by surprise as it challenged the traditional gender stereotypes of the time. Johnny, however, made a politically incorrect comment, stating that girls did not have the talent to be mechanics. But Donna was quick to put him in his place, asserting that women could do everything that men could. The audience was in awe of Donna's confidence and poise as she stood up for herself and all women. It was a cringe-worthy moment for Johnny, but it was hard to feel bad for him given the sexist nature of his comment. 
Donna's appearance on The Tonight Show was a powerful reminder that women are capable of achieving greatness in any field they choose, even in areas that are traditionally dominated by men. Her courage and determination continue to inspire and empower women to this day. In the late 1960s, the husband and wife duo, Sonny and Cher, gained immense popularity with their hit song, I Got You Babe. One of their most memorable talk show appearances was on The Merv Griffin Show in 1969. The audience erupted with applause as the couple walked on stage, captivated by their unique fashion sense and dance moves. Fans also noticed the couple's genuine love for each other, which further solidified their popularity. Sonny and Cher's fame led to their own variety show, The Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour, which aired from 1971 to 1974. However, the world was shocked when Sonny and Cher announced their breakup, both personally and professionally. Cher, determined to prove she was more than just Sonny's wife and sidekick, started her solo singing career. In 1979, Cher co-hosted the Mike Douglas show for a week, showcasing her unique fashion style and singing several songs, including Take Me Home, My Song, and Happy Was the Day We Met. Cher's co-hosting gig allowed her to demonstrate her independence and talent to the world. Cassandra Peterson, better known by her stage name Elvira, became a cultural phenomenon in the 1980s. This actress gained popularity through her appearances in television films and even comic books, where she portrayed the character of Elvira, the Mistress of the Dark. Her gothic appearance, complete with skimpy clothing, captivated audiences and earned her a large fan base. One notable moment in Elvira's career occurred when comedian Joan Rivers guested hosted The Tonight Show multiple times throughout the years. During one particular show on Halloween in 1985, Joan interviewed Elvira, who dazzled viewers with her unique style. Indeed, Elvira's revealing outfit seemed to have made quite an impression on Joan, causing envy for much of the episode, making it truly a memorable spectacle. Delving deeper into Cassandra Peterson's persona as Elvira, we find that beneath the macabre exterior lies a clever blend of sex appeal and humor. From movie premieres to hosting duties at amusement parks, Elvira left an indelible mark on pop culture during the decade. And while other trends may come and go, Elvira's influence remained strong among fans of horror and camp alike. As time went on, Cassandra continued to embrace the Elvira persona, appearing in various projects related to the character. In fact, she recently penned a memoir titled Yours Cruelly, Elvira, giving readers insight into both her personal life and professional journey. Through these endeavors, Cassandra Peterson continues to cement her place in entertainment history as the unforgettable Elvira, mistress of the